All right, so up at the top, this um, first row is called the Quick Access Toolbar, and that has you know your basic functions that you'll find in almost any software: save, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, and right here, if you click on this drop-down arrow, you can select between different files that you might have open uh, in this NX instance. And below the quick access toolbar is the ribbon bar, which consists of these different tabs. We have home tab, assemblies tab, analysis. Each tab is broken up into different groups. So the analysis tab has the measure group, display group, curve shape group and so on. One really useful feature in the ribbon bar is the command finder. So if you're if you know what you're looking for but you can't find it, you can just type it into the command finder and it will give you a list. So I'll click on the magnifying glass or enter. Here's our list and when I hover over one of the results, it will automatically change the tab and highlight the command that I'm hovering over. So you can see right now I'm in the PMI tab. And when I hover over pattern component, it will switch to assemblies and highlight the pattern component command. So from this results window, I can hover it and see where it's at in my ribbon bar, or I can just simply click on it and it will open the dialog. Also, if I hover over it, you will see this drop down um, arrow here, which gives me the option to add this command to the uh, to different areas of the, the user interface. So if you find that you are constantly searching for you know the same command over and over again you can add it somewhere that's convenient for you so that's a really useful feature especially when you're starting out it it, it takes a while to figure out where things are located so moving on over on the left side of the screen this is the resource bar and the way i think about it is the ribbon bar has the commands that I use to accomplish something. The resource bar has the, the actual physical entities that I'm working on. So just to give you an example, here is the assembly navigator. And you can see all the components that make up the assembly. So you can see our machine. You can turn it on and off with this checkbox. Same with the vice. Uh, down here you have the part navigator. And we'll go more in depth on, on these later when we uh, do the assemblies video.